Hello and welcome back to my channel or welcome to my channel if you're new here. I thought, you know, since it's the middle of March, I would go ahead and prep my March calendar in my bullet journal. <laughs> Yep, I'm a little bit behind. So I am just looking through <clears throat> to see, sorry, what I did in February. And then I'm going to do that same layout in March because it worked really well and I liked it. So here I go. I have the basics done and I'm just kind of looking back to see what books um, I need to leave room for and I put little just sticky tabs on those pages so I would make sure to leave room for them worst case scenario I put them in the following month not a big deal but I just left the pages blank and stuck my sticky notes on them and now I'm going to Think about what I want to put on the page to decorate. So a while back I was on scrapbook.com and found these freebies and I wish I could say I remember exactly where I got them on scrapbook.com but maybe if you just go there and type in freebies I'm not really sure. Um, anyway they had one set for each month and I downloaded all of them and I haven't cut them all out yet or printed them all out but I did the February I think the nah, March and April maybe anyway they're just really cute and they were free and free is fantastic so I have these to play around with so I just wanted to look at kind of the overall color scheme and see how I could match them to the um, pens that I wanted to use and where I wanted to stick them. I just printed them out on plain old paper and be, just simply because that was lighter weight and it wouldn't uh, make the bullet journal bulkier. So you could print them out on cardstock. If I were going to use it in a scrapbook, I probably would just to, you know, make it a little thicker. Before I go any further, I'm going to write the month up here. 
I like these chunky letters. They remind me a little bit of Ray Dunn, only chunkier. And I'm not, that's not a personal affront to Ray Dunn, just her font. So, I'm not sure if um, you agree or not, but I like the kind of chunky, simple letters because they're easy to make and that's always a good thing. So far, so good. Now I'm going to look back a little bit, see my weekly layouts for February. I really liked the size of them, and I liked having one week on one page like that. So I'm going to do the same thing for March, um, simply because it worked, but also uh, it's easy. And, you know, as we are already half the way through March, I thought probably ought to just get it done. So I'm going to use the same layout format as I did in February. like to go back and look at how I wrote the days of the week in months prior just to keep the uniformity. Um, it doesn't really matter, but I do kind of like it that way. Also, um, even though I'm trying to be really careful, goof-ups still happen. Uh, I was listening to something and they said either four meaning the number four or the word four and my brain quit working and I wrote Wait for it. One, two, four. We had no three this month, apparently. So I just had to cross them out and keep going. I didn't try to find matching white out. I didn't put paper over it to cover it up. Go me. I just, I just have an imperfect bullet journal, and that's fine. It's okay. It's fine. now time to get out the markers and add a little pop of color so I still really really love my sharpie highlighter markers they work great they come in all kinds of colors I just bought this big pack I think it was Target uh, where I got it it's been a little while ago but I love all the color choices and I'm kind of looking for colors that match the um, little accents I'm putting in and also that match March in general. Oh, oh, oh. 
this week was spring break week, I decided I would do a little bit of lettering here to the side just to distinguish it from all the other weeks. So I had a little bit of fun with lettering here. decided on this next page I really had to use this little guy. I love the little rainbows so I thought somehow I'll use it. Maybe I'll put some like stats in there, list of books I read. I don't know but I thought making it a little flap would be kind of fun. So there it goes toward the end of the month there um, and who knows. Maybe it'll be something cute. Maybe it will just have a sticker on the inside. Anyway, I love the idea of having like three-dimensional things. So there we go. Okay, so that is a wrap. Here is my finished, almost finished, uh, March layout. Nothing fancy, just user-friendly and cute. I love the way it turned out. I love the muted colors uh, that this little freebie allowed me to use. I have just one more thing I have to do, and then I am done. Thank you so much for watching. Come back again. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and consider subscribing. See you soon.